54th annual Alfred I. DuPont Columbia University Awards in Television and Radio Journalism. From Low Memorial Library on the campus of Columbia University in New York City, here is your host, Ted Koppel. Our next presenter is Ralph Begleiter, World Affairs Correspondent and host of CNN's weekly program, Global View. Ralph? Thanks, Ted. We have two awards for radio tonight. The first one goes to WMAL-AM, an all-news commercial station in Washington, D.C. When the Disney Company put forward plans for a Civil War theme park in Haymarket, Virginia, just about 30 minutes from Washington, Virginians quickly drew new battle lines. On the one side, historical accuracy and the community's values. On the other side, tourism and commercial potential. WMAL reporter John Matthews summarized the story in five exceptionally well-produced reports that aired just before Disney won approval from the local zoning board. Less than a week later, Disney dropped its plans and moved on. So let's listen to an excerpt from American History, the Disney version. People have been expressing their views on this park since the day it was announced. The plans call for a theme park, more than 2,000 homes, shopping, office buildings, and golf courses out near Haymarket. But Disney's America is much more than that. I hope, I hope, it's home from where we go. For Virginia Governor George Allen, the promise of more jobs is a political godsend. That, my friends, is the way to raise revenues. Not by jacking up sales taxes or income taxes, but by having a vibrant economy where people are working and business are fun. If you believe the people who want no part of Disney's America, this is what will happen once the theme park is open. Developers lining up to build cheap motels, tacky t-shirt shops, gas stations and fast food joints all over the Virginia Piedmont. For some historians, however, it's treason. I suspect it will not be good history. I suspect it will be cotton candy history. And while some see opportunity knocking, Who's there? others see a wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm a poor little sheep with no place to sleep. Please open the door and let me in. Not for the hair of our chinny chin chin. Here to accept a silver baton for American history, the Disney version, our WMAL's radio reporter and news director, John Matthews, and general manager, Ch John Bresnahan. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Jim. You might not know in the audience, WMAL is an owned and operated station of Capital City's ABC. So I have about a week before the merger to uh, not have a conflict of interest in this. Um, I would like to thank my general manager, Tom Bresnahan, my operations manager, uh, Jim Gallant, my good friend and former news director, John Butler, and I'd also like to thank my mother, my late mother, Linda Gage, the first journalist in my family. Mom, this one's for you. Thank you. I would just like to thank the uh, Capital City's ABC Radio Division, Jim Icare and Norm Schrott for creating an environment with the uh, pursuit of excellence in broadcasting is, uh, is pursued, and to the entire staff of WML for going after it. Thank you.